Wednesday, some of the hottest stocks around belong to companies that most people don't really deal with in their day-to-day -day lives. That can make them hard to understand, which is why I think it's so important to help you get your head around them. Take New Relic, the cloud-based software company that's a major player in application monitoring, meaning they help companies keep track of what their software is doing and how their users are interacting with it in real time. And while they may not sound all that sexy, the truth is that New Relic stock is on fire. It's up more than 75% year to date. This company's become a vital partner for all sorts of businesses, from tech firms to retailers looking to improve their e-commerce platforms. It's got terrific growth. Company revenue increased by over 36% the last time it reported. That was at the beginning of August. Hey, you know what? Earlier this month, Barron's ran a piece describing New Relic as a new tech arms merchant. Sounds like something I'd say. So can this stock keep roaring? Let's dig deeper with Lou Cerny. He's the founder and CEO of New Relic to get a better sense of how his company's doing and where it's headed. Mr. Cerny, welcome back to Mad Money. Great to see you. Thank Great you, Lou. Have a seat. Thanks for well, having me. Well, you know, the stock's been red hot, and I think a lot of that is because you have some customers that can't really be sure that their product's working without you. Uh, one I want to talk about right now is one of my favorite sites in the world, MLB.com. Never seems to go down. They seem to know something. I think they know New Relic. Yeah, well, the, the company behind that is called BamTech, and they really have transformed the way we watch sports and consume all sorts of media. Um, and if you think about it, in real time at Game Time or in the World Series, millions of people streaming that game in new and innovative ways that you couldn't do on traditional TV. How do you make all that technology work? New Relic provides them the confidence to run at peak production because we have the dashboard that helps them see what's going on. And I think that's why when Disney increased the stake, but the rest, uh, a lot of people were saying, yeah, I know that stake. I know that site. That site works. Well, yeah, and you think about Disney, they, you know, few people would dispute that they have the best content in the world. Right. And so now they're saying what we're looking for, we also want the best technology in the world. We don't only want the content, we want the technology that distributes it. So how are they going to evolve into becoming a world-class technology company? They're going to use, they're, 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 they're making a big investment in BAM tech, and then and we're coming along as being the dashboard to make sure that all works for them. Well, it's going to be huge. Now, the other one that is huge, largest retailer, 100 million people, Walmart, bought Jet.com. Now, obviously, there are going to be surges of when people want to go to Jet.com, which is sure. something I like very much. How do they know that their site's not down? Well, Jet.com has, has been a customer of ours for a long time, and, and it's a similar story about how Walmart's decided to get super serious in, in the digital world, and they've made a strategic acquisition there. If you think about it for Jet or, or, for, um, or for MLB, there are these moments of truth where you must shine. It could be the World Series or it could be Black Friday for right. Jet.com. At that moment, you need to know exactly what's going on in real time. Are people able to purchase the items online? What are they browsing? If it's slow, why is it slow? How do I make it faster immediately? Okay, now there's a company that we're all familiar with on this show that we've interviewed many times. Cisco went and bought a competitor. They paid a billion dollars more than your company. They get a bargain versus you? Look, Cisco. Look, I'm not an expert in valuing companies. <laughs> what I'll say is um, we're, we're happy to compete against Cisco. We do it all day long because um, where we're strong is in the cloud. We're a 100% SaaS-delivered company, and that's where the future is. And so uh, our, our competitor has an on-premise bias, and they were bought by a company with an even stronger on-premise right. bias. Um, so we don't have any problems competing with a company that has historically been in the networking space. Uh, just explain to people on-premise growth versus cloud growth. Well, if you, I mean, like you've been covering Salesforce since the very early days, right? Pretty story. good call on Thank your part. You. And so what we're doing in our category is taking that whole software as a service model to IT monitoring to helping provide the infrastructure that helps our customers move to the cloud. And it's important to tell you're agnostic. Absolutely, absolutely. Any cloud you're running on, we're partnering really well with Microsoft as well as Amazon, IBM, and Google. Whatever cloud you're running on, New Relic will make sure you're doing it well. Now, if I'm on Airbnb, how will they know that the site's not down? Well, they had a big moment of truth uh, at the Super Bowl last right. year. They had an opportunity to, an, at a last minute opportunity, to put an ad up on the Super Bowl. And um, they didn't anticipate having that ad opportunity. So all of a sudden, they had to scramble and prepare for this surge of traffic. Right right, on Sunday night when this huge ad goes in front of millions of people. The headlines on Monday were about the few companies that didn't handle the surge well. They weren't New Relic customers, um, because when you've suddenly got that surge in traffic, how do you know if you're going to handle it? New Relic gives you that confidence you can handle the surge of traffic. And, and New Relic's actually rearranged the business model of Ryanair. Absolutely, because if you think about Ryanair, in the past they thought of themselves as a, as a 
as an airline that has a website, now virtually all of their business goes through their website, and therefore the website is the business. And if they want the most pure real-time visibility in how their business is doing, they turn to the New Relic dashboard to see it in real time. Right. Now, in the times since we met, I've asked you a couple times how about profitability. You've been saying, listen, we're not going to sacrifice for growth. But now you have a lot of money in the bank, and you mm -hmm. have now made a determination fourth quarter. It's yes. Happen. Yeah, we're on track for that. We've been saying that for uh, about a year and a half now, that, that, that that's the goal, and we're still on track for that. Um, what we are a growth company. We're not a growth at all cost company. We think that there's an opportunity to build a great profitable business over the long term. Um, but really, it's all about the opportunity in front of us. We're so early in this stage of where all these companies are moving to digital, they're moving to the cloud, and they need New Relic to make sure they're successful on that journey. I, I don't think people realize how important it is. I'm, I was on a site this weekend. I won't mention it, but many millions of people were on it on Sunday, and it did not, it was too slow to deliver. Uh, it was a sports, sports mm -hmm. site, and if you were to all go, if we were all go on MLB.com yeah. for the World Series, which is what I will do, it's going to work, isn't it? Well, look, these are complex systems. Right, right. These are complex systems. They don't happen. It's not magic. It takes a lot of hard right. work. We provide you know, incredibly powerful tooling to make sure that these professionals keep their sites up and running because the cost of downtime is sometimes irreparable right. damage. You're, that's the word I'm searching for. Thank you so much. You've done an unbelievable job with your company and, of course, with the stock. That's Lou Cerny, founder and CEO of New Relic, which has been a rocket because the business is a rocket. May have money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.